there, this is Pete from Strymon. I'm here with our new Zelza multidimensional phaser. So what is a multidimensional phaser? Well, Zelza has two different sides. One is a six-stage phaser, one is a four-stage phaser. They can be used independently or simultaneously in a variety of configurations. They're true stereo on each side, but beyond that, each side itself has a multidimensional aspect to it. Our goal in designing Zelza was to capture the rich phasing sounds that were introduced in the 1970s that sound uh, equally good on electric guitar as well as um, electric piano. So uh, we got a lot to uh, cover, so let's dive right in. The six-stage uh, phaser is voiced to uh, really provide what I'd uh, describe as chewy or juicy phaser tones. We have three knobs and a switch. The knobs are uh, speed and depth and a voice knob and then the switch will control three different uh, resonance settings. Here's my dry tone. We spent a lot of time tuning the depth control so that at any position, you'll get a really rewarding musical experience. The range of the depth, of course, increases as you turn it up, but even at shallow settings, the, uh, the frequencies that are tuned um, and the parameters that are changing behind the scenes kind of keep it in a sweet spot. So we'll dial through the, the range of the depth knob here. <laughs> The speed knob has a range from a tenth of a hertz, that's a 10 second sweep, to 10 hertz. The resonance switch can bring in feedback from the output signal back into the input signal, and that will uh, accentuate the notches and frequency reinforcements of the phaser and uh, leads to a more dramatic, intense effect. With the switch set to strong resonance, you can get uh, funky, almost talk box kind of sounds. The third control on the six stage side is the voice control. It has two labels. On one side, it's phase. The other side, it's time. This is the multi-dimensional part of the six stage side. We wanted to expand the sonic possibilities in a way that was unique and unexpected for a phaser. To do that, we developed an architecture that contains a modified all-pass filter as the basis of the six-stage phaser. A phaser is a filtering effect that's made up of cascading all-pass filters, and six of them is, uh, are in a six-stage phaser. There are no delay lines in, in a phaser, but with our modified all-pass structure, we're able to expand the time response of the all-pass filter seamlessly and continuously. This is what happens as you turn the voice knob up. Let's increase the depth a little bit also to uh, accentuate that difference. You can hear another sense of dimension coming in along with the, uh, the pure phasing. Um, but the parameters are adjusted so that the 
character of the phaser still exists. It's just being now enhanced with, uh, with an extended time response. <laughs> Let's reduce the speed and sweep through the left half of the voice knob. As the voice knob turns up and the phaser uh, all pass time response continues to expand, the characteristics of the all pass that create the phaser uh, response are giving way to a uh, time modulated response that uh, begins to take on the characteristics of a flanger. By the time the voice knob is at one o'clock, the phaser characteristics of the algorithm are being dominated by the time characteristics of the algorithm, and we're into traditional flanger response. Turn off the resonance and hear a little more uh, traditional flange sweep. As we turn the voice knob up further, the time uh, response expands and we uh, end up in uh, chorus territory. Cells is true stereo, so that means there's actually two side-by-side six-stage phasers running, and we can pan the LFO offset to create uh, stereo effects. So we do that by holding the six stage button, and now the depth knob acts as a secondary control to control the uh, LFO stereo spread. At minimum, it's uh, essentially a dual mono signal. <laughs> You can get really nice, uh, you know, thick, wide uh, stereo chorus sounds with the voice knob at maximum. If we turn the speed knob up, we can get uh, full uh, Leslie chorus uh, type tones. Adjusting the depth and the voice, we can really kind of dial in a specific tonality for that for that effect. bring this back down to a uh, mono uh, signal, or dual mono, I should say. So one of the uh, neat aspects of the six-stage uh, voice control is as you play around uh, with a speed for a modulation idea, you have you, you may think you're looking for a phaser, but you might be looking for something that's more of a flanger or a chorus or vice versa or anywhere in between. And with the voice knob, it's just easy to, to experiment and really audition a wide range of uh, modulation sounds with one simple knob turn.
The other side of Zelza is the four-stage phaser. Four-stage phasers are probably the most common and recognizable of phaser structures. We wanted to capture those classic four-stage sounds and also expand the, uh, their capabilities as well. To accomplish this, we included uh, speed, depth, and mix knobs, as well as a powerful sweep control to allow you to change the characteristics of the phaser response. The first sweep switch position is classic. If you're looking for kind of a, a one knob phaser response, then the depth knob at noon and the mix knob at noon will give you that, and then you can just treat the speed knob as, as your knob to, to vary. Again, it goes from 10 hertz to uh, 0.1 hertz. Again, we've taken great care with the depth knob so that the range will give you uh, very nice uh, sweeps uh, of varying depths, but always in a uh, tailored musical range. So at maximum depth also, um, you start uh, phasing into lower frequencies that um, give you a little more kind of low end thump. At lower settings, the mix control gives a, uh, a more subtle phaser effect as the dry signal is dominating. At noon, the mix is 50-50 wet dry, and that gives you the maximum phaser effect as the dry signal works against the phase signal. And beyond that, the wet signal dominates and you get uh, uh, phase vibrato effects. Um, to full-on phase vibrato at maximum. So with that in mind, at 12 o'clock, we'll leave the mix for maximum uh, phase effect. We can now uh, check the effect of the uh, mix control. So very subtle there. As we go past noon, we'll hear some of these phase vibrato type effects. And now we're into pure phase vibrato. If we roll the depth back, it'll smooth out that vibrato. We can get almost traditional style vibrato effect. So in this setup, I've got Zelza running into Iridium with a sunset in front of Zelza. Uh, we've been listening to the uh, to clean sounds uh, through here uh, to this point, but I think everyone's familiar with the sounds of phasers into overdriven amps or overdrives driving a phaser, and they can have uh, different uh, responses based on where the phaser is placed in the signal chain. So I'm going to uh, turn up the drive on uh, Iridium's chime amp here and play the four-stage phaser into the overdriven amp. We'll hear that. Here's the, uh, the dry tone. And now we'll add some four-stage classic phaser. The slower sweep here. Now, by contrast, if we set the amp to clean and get the overdrive from the sunset, so now all those frequencies, the high frequencies from the drive of sunset are going to go into the phaser, and it will make the phaser effect uh, much more pronounced. 
And the four stage section is also uh, a true stereo. So there are two four stage phasers, one on each side, and we can adjust the stereo spread of the LFOs on that side by, again, um, pressing and holding the uh, six stage button to get into secondary mode and adjusting the depth, uh, dual mono at, at uh, minimum. 90 degrees at uh, 12 o'clock. 180 degrees, uh, it's all continuous at uh, maximum. If we go slow speed and we'll just get kind of a slowly panning motion going. Now the barber phaser is a phaser that uh, will rise continuously uh, or fall continuously and you can uh, change that uh, to either rise or fall uh, through a secondary on the speed control. Traditionally it's done with a frequency shifter but uh, to keep this a four stage uh, voice we actually have done it using essentially an array of four stage phasers that work uh, in unison to create this, this uh, sweep that's continually kind of rising in, into itself. So that sounds like this. So you can hear it sweeping up and continually sweeping up without having a period of falling. The depth control uh, controls the range of the sweep, but also um, as you increase the depth, will add uh, regeneration to the uh, barber effect for a more dramatic uh, uh, rising sweep. So let's listen to that here. We'll slow that down a little bit. Experimenting with the mix control uh, at higher levels can give some uh, almost tremolo-like sounds. The third sweep type is envelope. Now what this does is it sets the envelope LFO to actually respond to the pick attack and envelope of, of the input signal. So what you end up with is an envelope phaser that has some sonic characteristics like an envelope filter, but it's different in the sense that it's not just a filter frequency that's being modulated, it's actually the four stage phaser itself uh, sweep is being modulated. In envelope mode, the depth sets the sensitivity to the input and the speed sets the range of the sweep. And the, the way they work is it's fun just to kind of experiment with the knobs and, and listen to the different ranges. So again, we'll keep a mix at 12 o'clock for uh, maximum phasing. Start here. <laughs> Reduce the depth a little bit here. <laughs> and 
And again, the mix control allows you to do things that are not conventional, but uh, pretty cool in the sense like if we go full mix, we're now changing the phase and listening only to the phase signal. So we're getting essentially a pitched phase attack, which can be subtle sounding, but uh, it's definitely something you can feel. <laughs> Bypass. You can hear it kind of sweeping into a pitch there a little bit. So both sides can be uh, used simultaneously and that adds a host of uh, possibilities. We have three different configurations that you can uh, choose from. In series mode, it's just like having two pedals on your pedal board with the six stage phaser feeding into the four stage phaser. In parallel mode, the four stage and the six stage uh, each process the signal independent of, of one another. And in split mode, the four stage phaser is on the left channel and the six stage phaser is on the right channel. So here's some examples of what uh, some of those combinations can sound like. In this example, the two sides are running in series, so the six stage feeds the four stage. The six stage is voiced uh, for flanger sounds, kind of a shallow, uh, fast uh, LFO, and the four stage is set on barber for a long uh, resonant sweep. In this example, I'm running the two sides in parallel, and I've got the six stage set for a moderate speed phase tone, and the four stage is set for a phase vibrato at a uh, relatively fast rate. <laughs> There's just the six stage. In this example, I'm running them split. set in split mode and you bypass one of the sides, that channel will then uh, be dry and you will have an effect on one side. So it's a kind of an interesting way to create a stereo effect by having one dry signal and one affected signal. So here's, for example, uh, just the four stage on uh, the right channel. <laughs> but of course it creates a stereo effect because um, it's a different signal on the other channel, it's just dry. So there's quite a wide, uh, almost infinite uh, amount of possibilities of modulation sounds, uh, some new, some classic, two at once available, multiple configurations, true stereo. It's also fully MIDI spec. It has 300 presets available through MIDI. All the controls are available through MIDI commands and there's a lot you can do with it. So have fun. <laughs>